a quick response. I'm be in and out. I ain't gonna do no hour or two. This is gonna be quick, quick response to the brother Jay Diggs. Uh Jay Diggs, check this out, man. Um, I don't know why you threw my name up in there. I don't know why you tagged me. You know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck going on. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, man, you can't tell me if I can have love for my homeboy or not, my nigga. If you got beef with the nigga, that's on you, my nigga. I'm not turning my back on Messi Mar, my nigga. When I posted my message and said help him, that's for niggas who we really rock with. Niggas who really got money with that nigga. Niggas who put out albums with that nigga. Fans who really rock with him and niggas who really rock with him. That message was not for you, period. You fucking beefing with the nigga. All I said was I hope y'all fucking squash y'all beef in the wake of this Nipsey Hussle trash. That's it. Period. Don't throw my name up under the bus over y'all beef, my nigga. And you, the JT, the bigger figure. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Period. But I know you slid my name up under there, man. Don't do me like that, bro. Period. Don't do me like that, nigga. I ain't got no beef with nobody. Period, nigga. This for my opinion and me showing love for my homeboy. You know what I mean? A lot of niggas had opinion about that shit, bro. Period. A lot of niggas had opinion about the shit that went down. You know what I mean? But look, bad news travel fast. If you ain't know, nigga, I been on this motherfucker on one of these motherfuckers that retracted that statement and said that shit was out of pocket. When I was talking about mess, I was like, yeah, the shit was out of pocket. I apologize to the whole Vallejo for that shit. Bink, Bink said that. Nobody told you that, though, huh? But they told you, oh, Yuck was bigging that shit up. He was pumping it up. Fuck that nigga. They told you that, huh? But they didn't say, oh, Yuck did a lie, nigga. He, he went on his YouTube, nigga, and prop, you know what I mean, retracted his statement. They didn't tell you that one, huh? You know what I mean? Because somebody pumping a battery in your back. Like, yeah, fuck that nigga. Yeah, fuck that nigga. Yeah, fuck. Nah, nigga, don't let nobody pump no battery in your back. And you know the love I have for Mac Dre out of any nigga in the Bay, nigga. I did the most for Mac Dre. And you know, me and you know, nigga, you know what I'm talking about. I did the most for Mac Dre out of any artist in the motherfucking Bay. So you should never question my loyalty. You know what I mean? And what the fuck? To, to the cutty. Period. That's none. You know. So don't do me like that, nigga. Do them other niggas like that. Don't do me, nigga. Don't do yuck, nigga. You know. You and I know, nigga. Don't do me like that, bro. Period. You know I, man, come on, man. You know I love Mac Dre, nigga. You know I went the hardest for Mac Dre. Out of any Bay Area artist or any nigga he rock with, you know that, nigga. So don't throw me under the bus, nigga. You and I know, nigga. Don't do me. Period. Don't do me, homie. We been squashed our little shit. I ain't got no problem with you. I ain't got no problem with Vallejo. I ain't got no problem with this, nigga. I hope they ain't got no problem with me. This is the message to you, my nigga. I don't know why you threw my name under the bus because I've been retracted that statement. I've been said I was out of pocket, but I said, nigga, you got it, nigga. All the niggas who rock with mess, go fuck with them, man. Don't slide that nigga on the bus. Don't fuck with them. Don't diss the nigga while he down and out. Try to help the nigga. <laughs> That's all I said. I ain't trying to make no, you bad, you the bad guy, now I'm the bad guy. I don't give a fuck about you. I give a fuck about my homeboy out there. Nigga looking crazy. Period. That message was about my nigga and we need to help my nigga. There was no message about what beef you got going on with the nigga. That's your problem. Period. That's my homie. I done made over $100,000 with that nigga. Diggs, I did hella free verses for you. I never got one red Indian nickel, my nigga. So for a nigga that I got over $100,000 with, I'm ride for him, my nigga. If anything happened bad to you, I ride for you the same way. You know it. Period. So I'm a true nigga. I'm a real nigga, man. Period. I can't be fake. I can't be fake. I don't give a fuck what a nigga going through. I can't be fake, nigga. I'm a Libra, nigga. I'm the balance. I'm the center of this shit. I make sure it's all, it's all balanced, nigga. I got a balance, nigga. I don't, I don't give a fuck about this and that, nigga. It gotta be balanced, period. I bring balance to every situation. I'm a Libra, nigga. That's just me. That's just me. Period. That's me. I don't give a fuck if you're weighing that way or you're weighing that way. Nobody's not gonna get me against my homeboy. I done made over $100,000 with compared to a nigga I ain't make no money with. Period. You can't do that. I got love for both of y'all. Period. It's going to stay balanced. You ain't going to lean me to the side like you leaning everybody else. You can't do me like that. Period. I'm a grown ass man. Nigga can't tell me what to say. Like, nigga, oh, I'm the bag. No, nigga. I'm telling my homeboys that rock with him. Niggas that have made hundreds of thousands with that nigga just like I made hundreds of thousands, man. Help that nigga out. That's it. That message wasn't for you, J. Diggs. Period. That message wasn't for you. Leave me alone, bro. Period. You know. You and I know, bro. Leave me alone. Not me. Do the other niggas like that. Not me, bro. Not me. Period. Do the other niggas like that. Not me, bro. Not yuck. Nigga had way too much love for Mac Dre. Not yuck. Period. Too much love for you. If you was going through that shit, I'd be saying the same thing. Nigga, help J. Diggs. Don't clown him. Period. And I hope if I was going through it, niggas would help me out too. Period. That's it. That's it, man. All this fucking beef shit, all this fake ass beef shit. Nipsey just died over jealousy and, and, and words and shit. And niggas not like, come on, man. No more of that. 
Period. That's what I'm on, nigga. In the wake of this, nigga, don't we don't need no more bullshit ass beef when niggas can chop it up. Niggas with hella people was beefing with Mac Dre. 40 was beefing with Mac Dre. They squashed it. They was good before Mac Dre died. Nigga, Mac Marl and Dre weren't getting along. Nigga, they squashed their shit, was doing albums and shit together, still was rocking. Like, come on, lead by example, Cuddy led by example, man. He squashed all his old ass beefs and got money with nigga, man. Period. Money with niggas, man. You should do the same, man. Period. That's it. That's it, man. Niggas should lead by example, man. Instead of divide and conquer, man. All that shit gonna do, man. Fuck up the Bay Area. Fuck up Northern Cali. Because everybody got two sides now. You know what I mean? That ain't cool, my nigga. Period. It's time to unify, nigga. If all the Bloods and Crips unify, nigga. And they got way more beef, nigga. They got casualties. Niggas have been getting killed for motherfucking decades. And they squash they shit. You know what I mean? Nigga, if y'all just had motherfucking uh, tongue wrestling, y'all could squash y'all shit too. Be a grown ass man. That's all I'm saying, my nigga. You had the most dangerous motherfucking enemies and foes, nigga, come together because of this Nipsey shit. Nigga, put all that shit down. Niggas been getting killed for decades. Taking each other out for decades. These niggas hand in hand. Squashing they shit. If that could happen, that's, that's all I'm saying. I seen that like shit. Niggas need to squash their beef, period. And if you don't feel that, fuck it. Oh, well, man. I'm going to state my opinion. I'm going to throw it out there. You receive it or you, uh, or you don't. Oh, well, period. Oh, well. Man, man, I ain't got no problem with nobody, man. It's time to peace shit up, man, to bring peace in the streets, man. All this niggas beefing and shit and kicking niggas while they down, my nigga. My thing is this. I like to beef with competitive niggas anyway. I'm not going to beef with a nigga that's, that's hurting, period. I, that, I won already because you hurting. I ain't going to keep on rubbing in your face. You won because a nigga hurting, he fight back. Nigga, that ain't even a battle. That ain't even nothing to be proud about. You know what? This nigga hurt. Nigga, that ain't no win. That's like Floyd Mayweather when he beat up the motherfucking little Asian nigga, the 18-year-old. That wasn't no win. He knocked him the fuck out. That wasn't no win. Nigga, it didn't look like Floyd. That, that wasn't no win. He boxed a little 18-year-old Asian nigga that didn't know shit about boxing. He's a karate nigga. That wasn't no win. This ain't no win, Jay Diggs. This ain't no fucking win. You clowning Messi Marway down. This is not a win, my nigga. It's like you picking on him. You like you trying to bully the nigga. It's not a win, my nigga. Period. Fuck with niggas that's evenly on your scale. That's a great fight. That's a great beef. You know what I mean, nigga? With the same resources as you and they could do the same shit. You, that's a great beef. If it was. You know what I mean? I would fuck with a nigga that could do it. Period. These niggas be dissing the shit out of me. These little unknown ass rappers. You think I'm going to talk to these niggas? That ain't no beef. That's me picking on these niggas. I'm too much of a giant, man. I stump these ants. Period. You should feel the same right now. You a giant compared to that nigga. Period. Chill. You don't feel like you a giant compared to that dude. You tripping. You way more successful than him right now. Y'all got way more shit going on than that dude right now. Revenge is, I mean, success is the best revenge. You won with that. Where el what else do you need, my nigga? Like, what else you want to do to this nigga? You already killing him. With the with the with the money moves, y'all got the cola line, y'all got hella shit, all types of CBD companies, hella shit. Y'all winning. What are you gonna get by dissing this nigga that can't do shit, can't respond back, can't even get in the studio to make a song if he wants to to respond back to you? It looked like you just bullying a nigga, bruh. Period. You fucking won. You won. You got more money, more resources, and you balling, and he not. End of the story, man. Let's move on. Let's move the fuck on, man. Period. Let's get some mud mud out here, man. Period. That's it. That's all I'm saying, my nigga. Nigga threw me under the bus like I'm beefing with the nigga. Like, I, nigga, that's my homeboy. I made hundreds of thousands with this nigga. I ain't make one red Indian nickel with you, Jay Diggs. I did hella free verses, everything for you. Still ride with you. I don't want no money from you. But I got hella money fucking with Messi Marvin. I'm not turning my back. Period. That's it. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Niggas could be mad at me for life. I don't give a shit. That nigga paid my bills. Nigga got me in forms, all types of shit. Nigga, new jury, everything. Nigga, nigga got my kids. Nigga, everybody right. Nigga doing them projects with that nigga, man. I don't forget. Y'all niggas forget. Y'all niggas forgetting shit on niggas, man. As soon as you can, you forget when niggas helped you out. You know what I mean? When niggas was hurt, nigga. You know what I mean? Niggas forget when niggas helped other niggas out, man. Period. Niggas get on and forget when you started, bro. Who was there? Niggas forget that. That should go all out the window when a nigga get successful. Like, nigga, I did this all by myself. It was a lot of help for everybody else. You know what I mean? Rocking with niggas and getting niggas in position, man. Period. Nigga get to the top, say fuck everybody. Nah, nigga, everybody helped you get to the top, man. 
Period. I can't say fuck you to the niggas that helped me get to the top. I can't. I'm not like that. I'm not like the new millennial niggas who don't want to give respect to the niggas who helped them or paved the way. I can't do that. That's not me. I'm too solid, nigga. I'm from East Oakland, nigga. My daddy was a black gorilla family, nigga. Period. I'm too solid for that. I can't I can't rock like that. That's not me. Period. Now, if you other niggas want to make this shit into a comical spectacle, ah, nah, nah, that boo boo. Ah, look at me. Ah, that boo boo. Nigga, you want uh, Check this out. Check this out, my nigga. At the end of the day, man, when that mess was on doing this motherfucking one, two half you niggas that had the money he had. Period. He can nan and boo you niggas too. So it's funny how the, how the, how the, you know what I mean? The, 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 the shit changed and then the motherfucker, you know what I mean? Been waiting. Been waiting to diss this nigga. Like, niggas been mad at this nigga coming with Benzes and BMWs and shit, nigga. All the new click clack chains and shit, doing songs with this on the radio. Keisha Cole, this, that, and the third. Niggas been mad at this movement. They couldn't wait for this day. So they can say, ah, nah, nah, that boo boo. Because you was mad when the nigga was on top. Period. Just like me, man. Niggas couldn't wait. Couldn't fucking wait. Nah, nah, that boo boo. Ah, nah, nah. Because the nigga been on top too long, man. They hate you when you're on top. It's the Floyd Mayweather effect. I say that all the time. Niggas hate Floyd because he been on top too long. It ain't because he arrogant. It's hella arrogant, motherfuckers. It's hella niggas with money. Nah, they mad because he been on top so long, man. They want somebody else there. Period. That's it. That's it. Niggas be mad you be on top, nigga. And nigga be your own homeboys. Mad that you on top and can't wait for you to fall so they can take your place. Nigga, if you in the front, if you on the top, nigga, you getting all the shine. Everybody else is in the shadow. Nobody want to be a fucking shadow. Period. So when a nigga finally out of shadow, he going to nan the boo-boo when you become the shadow. And that ain't cool. Period. That's all I'm saying. That ain't cool. That shit ain't cool, man. Because everybody been a shadow. Nobody started in the front and was shining. Everybody been a shadow before and, and got into the light as they got their shit popping. We all start off as a nigga in the background and then finally got to the front. Like, what the fuck is the problem? You feel me? We can't keep doing this shit, man. Period. You know? Niggas talking about, why don't you help them? Like I said, nigga, I been sent the team out there to do what they could do, man. They tried to do what they could do. You know what I mean? Whatever happened, whatever happened. That's their business. But we sent the team out there before I even dropped my message saying niggas need to help them instead of clowning them. I been sent the team out there, nigga, to get them right. You know what I mean? So lead by example. I had my niggas out there before I even said the message, man. You know what I mean? And it should just be taken as that. It shouldn't be taken as nigga trying to diss J Diggs or trying to make J Diggs a bad guy, nigga. Nah, I'm helping my nigga. I done made hundreds of thousands with that nigga, man. That's my message for my nigga. Not for no beef that you got going on, Mr. Diggs. All right? I'm done with this shit. I'm about to watch my motherfucking game. Good night. Smoke a lot, motherfucking radios coming soon. Goddamn Yuck Mouth TV. Subscribe to your motherfucking God, man. Period. Yada da. Boy. Papa gave me game when I was knee high. Now when they see me outside, they're strangled.